VVideo tutorial, how to use VVideo for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with VVideo. So let's get into it. Now, VVideo is a online platform that enables you to create videos, to edit videos, and you can really customize how you are editing your videos without having to download any kind of fancy programs and without having a, uh, you know, difficult to use software. So you can see they have multiple different options. You have video creation, video templates, green screens, screen recordings, uh, editing tools, and so much more. So to get started, simply head on over and go to sign up on the top right of your screen. Once you click on that, you can sign up via Google, Facebook, or your email address. So I'm just continuing with Google over here and VVideo is free to use. So uh, you can use it for free as well, as well as their premium version. So they have multiple different packages available with multiple different features, but you can get started for free as well. So once you have signed up, this will be your basic homepage. So in your homepage on the top right, you're gonna see your account settings and your logout page. Then you will see your homepage on the left side of your screen then you have your templates so these templates are a lot of them are for premium plans but they also have free templates as well and these templates uh, follow like you know all the basic kind of uh videos that you see you know international coffee these are like adverts social media layouts business promos memes mementos celebrations so if we go on to social media ones so you can see this is like a basic meme template you see these kinds of memes everywhere and once i have clicked on it this template is now loading and I can begin editing it and making it my own. Now, to create your own new video, you can simply click on Create New and you can click on Full Featured Editor or Simplified Editor. So if you click on your Full Featured Editor, this is their full editor. And if you click on Create New and go into their Simplified Editor, this is a simplified version where you can just, you know, you have a lot less detail in terms of your previews and in terms of multiple videos. Then you can also enter GIFs or podcasts as well, depending on your use case. So after that, you can see your templates, you can see your media as well. So you can import your videos uh, over here and begin editing them. I will just click on Full Featured Editor. And once you have opened up your full featured editor, you can click on search my media and search for videos. You can go into the video section and, you know, get a free video from over here as well. So you can see there are a bunch of different videos like this. And, you know, you have a bunch of different um, videos that you can pick from. Although there are some copyright things you need to keep in mind whenever you're using videos from their library, but you know, you can find a bunch of different videos from here. I'm just going to wait for this to load up and you can see this is like the video. It's a dance video. So I can just drag this and drop it over here, drop it at the start. And now once I have dropped this video, let's say that I want to begin adding my text. So what I will do is I will simply go into the text section on the left side of my screen. And you can see there are a bunch of different options. You have basic text, you have special text. And uh, let's say that I want to add primary text. You know, this is like a caption version and you can see you have multiple different options over here. I want to add this one. So this is how this text will appear. And I will drag and drop this over here like so now once i've done that i am just going to double click on the text and now it will show me what it's going to say so i will enter my own text over here so like this i've added my own text and you can change the font size you can also change where it's placed so if i want to place it on the top on the center on the bottom i can do it so i'm just going to place it over here you can also click on transform and you know rescale how it's going to look instead of just uh, changing up the size you can also flip your text if you want so if you want to add you know different effects with that you can do that as well and you can change the opacity if it's faded or not or if the text should have a blurred background once you've done all of that you're just going to click on save changes now if i start my video this is how it's going to appear and let's say I want to reduce the amount of time the text is on the screen. I'm going to do that. And maybe I want to also reduce the video. So I'm just going to match the video and the text from the bottom over here. So in the bottom, you will be able to drag this. If you select the video, you will be able to expand it and reduce it. So this will reduce the time the video is on the screen. I can expand the text as well. And I can also decrease the time that it is present on the screen. Right now, I've placed them both together at the same border. So they both are going to be in the video in the same amount of time. 
So a couple of seconds of this, then I can go back into videos or images. You can find a bunch of different images and videos. And I'm just using some sample videos over here. And uh, you can obviously upload your own images. I That's definitely what you want to use this for. But these are just some, you know, bunch of different images that I'm using off of over here. And plus, I'm using these images which are available on the premium version. Uh, if you're uploading your own images, you don't have to really get the premium version. You can just continue with your own videos. Now, let's say that I want to... Uh, remove a section of this video so I have this video over here and maybe I just want to remove this section of the video I'll show you guys another video which would be a better example so taking this video over here dropping this like so so let's say I want to cut in between where they're grooving over here. So this is like a really random example, but you might have a video of an animal and they're jumping around and maybe they pause for very too long and then you want to continue on from when they start jumping around or when the animal is playing. So for that, all you have to do is take a look at where you want to cut the video from. So maybe from this moment on to this moment on, I want to cut it. I will simply move my preview bar, the blue bar over here, and then I will click on split. Once I've done that, I will move my blue bar to the second part where I want the video to resume back from. I will click on split. And now this section in between, you're just going to click on this and then delete it. And now you're going to move the end section right next to the start one. And now we have a simple cut. So you can see this is how our video is. You can see the preview bar moving. And it's going to jump directly into the section that we have. So instead of, you know, so it could be used for a very uh, different thing as well. You also have features such as transitions. You can add any kind of transition. So if I select this video over here, I can click on transitions. And maybe I want it to do a rainbow. If I can add this rainbow transition. I want a film strip. I can drag and drop it over here. And now if I do my preview like this and now you you guys will see the transition film strip and if i want the rainbow one i can drag and drop that as well and you need to leave uh, a little bit of time for the transition to appear so let's say i want this transition i will put this over here and put this one over here and now i have my rainbow transition and i will move all these items together so now you can see if there's like an empty section, the video will be blank and then the transition and then I will have the transition again. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with VVideo. And if we take a look at their pricing and plans, the power version starts at $4.99 where you can publish a 30 minute video per month and you also get 20 gigabytes of storage. So if we take a look at their premium plans, they start at $4.99 and go upwards of $36.99 per month. And if you want more features, you can contact them directly for enterprise level programs. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.